Hey guys, so welcome back to the new tutorial where we will be learning how to make the doors and windows for our plane. Um, and before I actually start, I want to make a quick announcement that in this tutorial I will only be covering how to make the outline of a door, outline of, uh, outline of a window, and other stuff like yeah, and like outline of this little door, on the emergency door, if you'd like to call it. Why did my emoji section pop up? <laughs> so, this is the reason I'm not going to um, be teaching you how to make these windows and these tiny little details is because the, the windows and the tiny little details like this, this, and the cargo door, these guys need to be in a separate video because I cannot cramp all of them in one video. It's very hard to explain and it causes a lot of confusion. So for now we will just be learning how to make a window and how to make the outline. So let me just quickly turn on my shortcut keys. Hopefully, yeah, I'm gonna make this color red so that you can see all the color here. Okay, good. So the first thing we're going to do here is Actually, before we start, just a quick um, reminder, make sure that you've watched this video because this video helps you a lot. Um, this is a very good video and it's just, it, it's going to make this section a hell lot of a easier. So let's start. So first off, because we want to make a door, we would need a cube and I will show you why. So the first thing you want to do is this little guy over here, you want to click him and you're going to go here. Click this again and then click Shift A, Mesh, and Cube. There we go. And once you've done that, you should find this, you should have a cube here. Now, you want to go, to, you want to click here, you want to bring this cube using G, and then zoom in, and then just adjust this cube just about here. Okay. We've done the first step, the easy step. Now, what you want to do is, since we can, um, since we can shape this cube to look like the outline of the door, we can very easily, very easily, mold this into the outline. So, what I mean by this is first go into edit mode with clicking tab, and then going to the face section. Clicking this face and then clicking this face. Oh, make sure it's selected and click X and faces. This should delete the front faces so the knife project is clean. And once you've done this, again go here, click all, click a uh, tab, go here in the vertices mode, select everything A and then click S and click X. So this way you're you're making the cube just like the outline of the doors. And you want to keep doing this until you find the perfect outline. So we've got these guys connected here. And now we will be beveling the top two bits. So make sure you're on X-ray mode when we're going to do this so that you're beveling the whole, um, the whole face on top here instead of just these two vertices. So again, go here. Select all of this and click Control B. And here you should see that this bevels. Just want to do it a bit and then go on the top just to check that these guys are beveled. And after you've done that, don't click anything else because if I click away, this little box here is going to go. So if I click here, it's going to go away. So to make sure, so for if you've clicked away, simply you can do Control Z. Level it again, and then click on this tiny box. Once you've clicked on this tiny box, you're gonna see a bunch of um, a bunch of sections or a bunch of options, and you don't really need to know all of these. The only thing you need to know is segments, and what these segments do is basically add more vertices, so your mesh, uh, so not not your mesh, so your cube gets more curvy. So if you click here you can see how it adds segments. And we only need four because I don't think we need any more for now. Once you've done that, select the top four, click G and click Z, 
go up. So you can see how they've covered the basic top, the top area. Once you've done that, you want to do the same thing with the bottom ones, bevel them, and this time it should automatically do it for you because you selected the same setting. Select these guys again, no, oh, G and Z, and bring it down. There you go, we've got a very nice basic shape. The next step from here now is to click, click tab again, select this guy here, select the plane, and then go click here again, click on the Y axis, click tab. So both of these guys are in are in edit mode, and then click A. Actually before, yeah, okay. So yeah, click A, and then click mesh, and then oop, mesh and knife project. And make sure you click cut through. Once you've done that, you should see a basic eye outline here. And once you've got this outline, don't do anything, just just wait. Don't start selecting them and making them um, separate. So now, once you've done that, want to quickly go out of edit mode, go click here, reselect the cube only, only the cube, and then scale, go in edit mode again, click vertices, and scale it this down a bit. And again, you want to knife project this. So the reason I've scaled this down is because when you will be importing this plane, you want to make sure that you have a basic outline for the door, just to indicate that this is an outline of the door. So I'll, I'll show you what it means. So again, once you've scaled it down, go out of tab, select the plane, go into edit mode, select A, so everything here is selected, mesh and knife project and turn, make sure cut through is on, it's on here for us by default. And there you go, you have a very nice outline of your doors. Okay, I can remove this now. And actually, no, don't, don't remove this, sorry, my bad. You can use this to um, knife project on every door, so we can use this here to knife project over here, which, well, you need to do. now. You can hide this for now by clicking H, making sure the mesh is selected. And if you want to make this, a, you want to show this um, object again, you have to click Alt H. I'm just gonna hide this right now. So now, once you've basically hidden your cube, you want to go on. You want to click Tab and get out of X-ray, and you should see this basically out this basic outline, and now what you want to do is click on faces and select this outline. So select one face, hold on shift. And depending on your plane, you might find this way a bit, bit ineffective because who wants to, you know, go around clicking shift because you could re like click somewhere else. So the best way to do this is click on this, this a singular face, hold on alt and click again. Oh, <laughs> uh oh, this is not working. <laughs> okay, okay, for this you would have to um, select each and every face, but usually you can click Alt on a singular face and it should select everything here. For now, let's just select these things. There we go, we selected this outline, and now you want to turn around. Go here and do the same for this. Make sure you're holding down shift. Click, click, click. <laughs> click, click, click. Keep clicking this. Until you've got this, select, this section selected and this section selected. And the reason I've got these two sections selected is because when you, would ex when you will export your plane to Roblox or X-Plane, you, would, you wouldn't want to um, click on each and every outline and make their color gray or whatever. So what I mean is, if you have a look at A320 Blueprint, you can see how, you can see how this plane here has this outline and you wouldn't want to select on each, you wouldn't want to select each and every outline just to get a similar um, 
color, which is going to be very inefficient. So by grouping them, if we just select gray color for this outline, every single outline that's um, that's joined that's joined with this group is going to become gray. So let's go back to Blender here. So once we've got this, these two guys selected, all you have to do is right click, separate, and by selection. And here you can see you've got your door. Beautiful. And for the rest bit, you have to simply select the the, um, the faces inside. And for that, you can just use C. So click C and then select it like that. Go in X-ray to make sure you haven't selected anything else. Do the same thing here. Hold down C. Got these two guys selected. Right click and separate by selection. And there we go. We have our door. And... Now, if I want to make this gray, all I would have to do is click here, go here, where was this? Yeah, go here, click new, give it a couple of seconds, click use nodes, base color, and make them black. So now you can see the outline is black. But this color is, well, it's, it's your choice. You can make it whatever color you like. For now, I wouldn't do, I will just leave it like that. So let's click here. Okay. Now that we've done this bit, we're going to be doing the windows. And you may have guessed it, the windows follow a similar pattern as well. All you have to do is Shift A, Mesh, Cube. Find the cube here. Go click here, click Tab, click A and click G. So you've got the cube then again delete the front faces of the cube here X and faces go here click on uh, click on the mesh and click tab and then a vertices actually first scale this down so There we go. And once we scale this down, again, bevel these guys down here. Something like this. Same for these guys. Bevel on the top. These are very inaccurate, but you guys can fix this later on. Go down here. Then scale this down a bit more. A bit big, and we've got the basic outline. Now, again, you can follow the same technique because you can again create an outline and then create the actual window. But because a lot of people um, don't create the outline, I will, for the sake of the video, I will also not create the outline. So basically, all you have to do is once you've made your, um, once you've made your keep losing my words once you've made your um, the mesh that you're gonna mirror on the plane click make sure the mesh is selected click the plane click tab and click a then click here and then mesh knife project and make sure cut through is on and before you guys ask me what cut through is cut through basically um, mirrors whatever you've done here so if there's going to be a cut here there's also going to be a cut here so if I deselect cut through there's only going to be one cut but that is going to be very inefficient so we've got ourselves a very nice cut here and again you can select these guys here using C oh make sure faces one two One, two, and okay, make sure only these two guys are selected. Right click, separate by selection. And there we go. We have two of our windows here. And you can continue doing this by 
duplicating the amount of windows you have. So if I go in mirror, if I go in x-ray, I can click tab, click A, and then shift D to duplicate this and G and X to do this. Then again, click A, duplicate G and X, oh, like this, and keep going until I can do a big knife project and separate all the windows. So I'll just show you guys how to quickly do that. Like this, I'll just use these two windows for now. Since we've basically done this bit, um, delete these guys' vertices, so just select them. Vertices, okay. And select the windows you have. Go here, click tab, then click um, A, and then again, mesh, knife project, make sure cut through is on. And you have your mesh. Um, and you, you guys may see what are these lines and these are some issues with the topology and I will be teaching you how to fix these. So don't worry and I think that is pretty much it that we need to know. So yeah, I think that's all you need to know for now. The next video will have cockpit windows, cargo doors and, and these minor details. So like this bad boy we have over here and then and then maybe the lines that you can see in the blueprint, the tiny boxes, and all those little details that make your plane stand out. So, yeah, that's it. Um, make sure you save your work. I will put the file in the link. And thank you so much for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe. We recently hit 205 subscribers, which is a huge milestone for me. Thank you so much, and hope you have a good day.